Hello children. In the previous video, we learned to estimate the area of objects. In this video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Champapur has received bright sunlight after the rainy season. Let me make poppers, thought Chanda. Thinking this, Chanda made various kinds of poppers. I have poppers of these three shapes. I have to charge the highest price for the biggest popper and the lowest price for the smallest popper. But all three are of different shapes. Then how do I find out which shape poppers are the biggest? Chanda got absorbed in thinking. Just then, Appu came to her house. Chanda asked this question to Appu. That's it. It's very easy. Appu told Chanda and quickly drew equal squares of one centimeter edges on a paper. To find the answer to your question, all we need to do is to find the area of the poppers of these three shapes. The shape of the popper which has the largest area is the largest. Appu told Chanda. Appu then made outlines of poppers of all three shapes on the paper with the help of a pencil. Let's first find the area of this shaped popper. Let me first draw this rectangle in this shape here so that I can find it easy to find the area. Appu made a rectangle like this in the shape of the first popper. Now I will write down the number of squares that fall into these rectangles. Now I will write the number of full squares left, 16. And finally the number of the remaining half squares, 20, which is equal to 10 full squares. Now this is very easy. To find the area of this popper, we just have to add the numbers of all these squares. Look Chanda, there are 175 squares in total in the area of this popper. In other words, the area of this popper is 175 square centimeters. Appu explained to Chanda. Oh wow Appu, this is very easy and fun too. Let me find the area of this popper now. Chanda told Appu. Then Chanda made such rectangles in the area enclosed by the outline of the second popper. She then wrote down the number of squares falling in those rectangles in this way. Now, Chanda wrote the number of the remaining full squares, 20. And then, she wrote the number of the remaining half squares, 28 or 14 full squares. In the end, Chanda used addition in this way and wrote down the total number of squares covered by this popper. 98. Appu, the area of this popper is 98 square centimeters. Chanda said excitedly. Now all we have to do is to find out the area of this last popper and then we will know which of these poppers is the largest. Chanda told Appu. Children, can you help Appu and Chanda by finding the area of this popper? If you wish to, you may stop the video and find the answer. 
we can find the area of this papad by making rectangles and squares in this way the area of this papad is 125 square centimeters chanda and appu also found the area of the third papad look appu first papad has the largest area it means this papad is the largest and second papad has the smallest area it means this papad is the smallest chanda excitedly told appu chanda thanked appu for teaching her about area and then with his help packed all her papads children in this video we learned more about estimating the area of objects through some interesting examples in the next video we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this